Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and today I want to give you an update on where we are with the boycott as of update 3.6 with the patch that introduced the ultimate chest and the kind of character loot box controversy. Uh, the boycott is not over yet, in case you're still wondering, but it is, I think, closer to its end than we could have ever expected. Uh, especially now with the more recent development. So I want to get into that and detail that for you and what we've been doing to try and uh, accelerate uh, the, these loot boxes being removed from the game because that is the end goal, removing the character loot boxes from the game. We do not want to gamble to get characters specifically. Now, uh, we had a lot of movement on Twitter uh, as well as YouTube to get these uh, loot boxes out of the game on November 30th so about two days ago I tweeted out at Bill Roseman who I had previously not tweeted at before uh, Bill Roseman if you guys are not familiar I've mentioned him on this channel before he is the executive creative director for Marvel games so all of the genius creative moves that or most of, I would say, uh, of the genius creative moves that are attributed to Marvel games like Contest of Champions, like the now defunct Marvel Heroes, but this game as well, Marvel Future Fight, and others, is, uh, you know, can be credited in some way to him, maybe in a large way to him, and he seems to have a pretty uh, large uh, level of responsibility with the new Spider-Man game coming out in 2018. So, the man is extremely influential to say the least, not to mention the fact that he appears to be the kind of angel in disguise that pushed through the X-Men in May of this year. Um, judging by some tweets that he made and judging by some kind of cryptic hints that he left on Twitter. But you can check all that out in previous videos that I've made about that whole we got the X-Men in future fight. Thing. But more recently, I tweeted at him with this tweet, Why does Marvel Future Fight want players to gamble to get classic heroes like Nova? And then I linked to the YouTube video that I had more recently uh, put out about saying that we are almost there. But the mistake that I made or the, the thing that I did not do as of yet, which I have now rectified, is we didn't give Netmarble enough... Uh, of a suggestion or enough kind of ideas for how they can replace this loot box because just demanding that they replace it I think is not enough we need to give the company some uh, kind of recourse or on how they can put them into the game because you know we they, they put them in the processor but that's not good enough uh, it's still gambling it's still random it's still unfair um, so, you know, shortly after that, on December 1st in the morning at 9 a.m., which is about a day ago, we got this update uh, from Netmarble where they kind of identified the problem, but they didn't identify the solution. So they know what the problem is, but they don't know how to fix it. So they said, we received a lot of feedback on the forum. Yeah, I bet you did. Uh, after the Ultimates and the Ultimate Hero Chest, we recognized that our biggest issue was the Ultimate Hero Chest. Now, you may not think that that's good enough, but that's a pretty decent start. That They are actually admitting, in text, that their biggest problem was the chest that they introduced. Different with other heroes, members of the Ultimates could only be acquired from the Ultimate Hero Chest. So, uh, you know, they are putting them in the bio uh, for the Shield Lab, we already knew about that. But in addition to that, to kind of balance it out and kind of walk the line between fairness they are giving, wow, Wolverine died. They are giving um, players who purchased the chest um, before the crystal refund, they are giving those players a 50% discount. So don't get confused, not everyone who purchased the ultimate chest will get a discount or a refund or a 50% refund, but the people who bought it before they gave us the, wow, I'm just gonna lose this mission altogether. Guess you can't auto with Wolverine, that's fine. Okay. Uh, we'll get a refund, but again, that's just not good enough. Uh, that is not what we asked for. We didn't ask for a refund, Netmarble. I didn't ask for my crystals back. I haven't spent any crystals, and many people on uh, the game or in the game have not spent any crystals either. So then I tweeted out again, in addition to putting up a poll on YouTube, how do you want the Marvel Future Fight loot box fiasco to end? And I'm, I'm thankful to all of you, more than 5,000 people at this point, who have voted in that. I wish in the future that more of you can check out those vote, uh, those polls and you can vote in them because they're a really good way of getting the community's opinions. But I asked you guys, 
uh, how are we gonna fix it and the majority of you wanted either a ten dollar bow subscription for these characters or to put them as shifters in the chapter 13 story missions now whether net marble is going to take those suggestions or not is really anyone's guess at this point I can't say for for sure or with any confidence but it's important that first of all we recognize that we gave net marble suggestions on how they can rectify this situation we didn't just tell them to fix it we told them how to fix it in addition to that all right Jean Grey can you help out uh, your lover boy here in addition to that this post is uh, you know rated at 8 or was posted at 8 30 a.m. December 1st about two hours later at 10 51 a.m. Bill Roseman finally speaks on the problem hello Marvel future fight fans we hear your voices and are working with Netmarble to address your concerns. Thank you for your patience and passion. And this is very important. For Bill Roseman to be publicly mentioning this means that this problem is not going to go away. Netmarble cannot just keep placating us and trying to appease us with these kind of phony updates with, uh, you know, oh, here's 500 crystals, we solved the problem. Oh, hey, here's a million gold. We know that the problem was the ultimate's chest, so here's here's some Uru. Uh, there's no there's no congruence there, Minette Marble. Why are you giving us uh, a, a refund on our crystals if the problem is the chest? The refund doesn't help me. You're just giving me crystals back so I can do what? Buy more chests? That's not, that's not fixing the problem, right? But if, if, if Bill Roseman is now going public with this, Listen, guys, Bill Roseman have, has tens of thousands of followers, uh, and people who play other Marvel games, people who follow other aspects of Marvel, whether it be the movies or the comics or, you know, another part of the franchise and the, the IP, they're aware of this. They're aware of who he is and his power and his level of influence. So for him to be putting this out in the public, it means that more people are, you know, he's basically drawing more attention to it at this point. Um, so for them to not do anything after he tweets this would be very bizarre and very uh, unusual. So I do not expect that to be the case. And I'm extremely happy to hear uh, that he has become involved in some capacity because it does mean that there is more likely to be a correct and accurate resolution to this issue. And hopefully it will come soon. I was hoping that it would come today before I made this video. Uh, or kind of last night while I was asleep, but it didn't, uh, which I probably assume is because it's the weekend in Korea right now, uh, Sunday. So hopefully in about 36 to 48 hours from the making of this video, uh, we will see a patch uh, on Monday morning or Monday night uh, early to uh, address these issues and fix it for us. I have a lot of content that's backlogged, so please don't uh, get confused or think that I'm avoiding uh, talking about the new characters, talking about the new story missions, talking about the new uh, discount on story mission characters from chapters 1 to 8 and who you should tier to. I have, and the new uniforms, I have plenty of videos lined up for you guys and plenty of content related to this update because there are some bright spots to this update. Absolutely, this update is not all bad. Uh, it just has a really big bruise on it right now and I need that to go away before I start promoting their content again because it, it just doesn't make sense it doesn't fit the uh, the feeling of the community you know people are upset about this boycott I cannot be upset one minute and then be like hey guys this update's so great let's, let's trigger the happy music YouTube haha <laughs> ad revenue I, I just can't do that that's just not uh, an honest way of doing things and uh, you know it's just how it's gonna be so hang tight with me have a little bit of patience I the content is coming I'm still keeping my eyes open and my ears uh, to the ground uh, to get people's feedback on things like the new uniforms and the new characters so even though I'm not using them myself I'm still getting collecting in the background a lot of second-hand information uh, and I can still play these missions from a first-hand perspective and oh here you go here's a little preview teaser of Inferno's new uniform thanks uh, who's this guy Sh Shiroi 98 fantastic 1998 baby hit me up anyways that is the recap on the updates and the kind of machinations that have been going on regarding the uh, boycott Marvel Future Fight update 3.6 loot box, ultimate box, drama, controversy. Having Bill Roseman in the game is a game changer. 
And I hope that you guys can join me on Twitter or you can join me in the YouTube polls and the community to continue to make your voices heard. Because it's, it's nice to go on Reddit, it's nice to go on Mobarum, but these other social media platforms are really where you can start to galvanize people's opinions and get people on your side. Even people who are not playing this game, perhaps they played Battlefront 2 for Star Wars and they hate those loot boxes. Perhaps they're familiar with other gachapon tactics and other games, Japanese titles, etc. So when you get more people involved, and you get more eyes seeing something, it's harder for the uh, enemy or for the company that you're fighting against, you're railing against, harder for them to ignore you. And we will not be ignored. So hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Praise Bill. Actually, maybe hold that praise, but kind of tentatively praise Bill. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. And subscribe if you're having a good time. Take care.